other national uh, sorry natural you can say hazard or disaster is a flood flooding what do you mean by flooding flooding means that we know that we are using water for our different resources agriculture in the river there is a water in the lakes there is a water but if the water comes more than the capacity a river has a lake has or the special area has so that is known as flood and it has number of reasons it has the due to the heavy rain due to the melting of the snow it can happen you know that in the august in sudan you will find that uh, the heavy rains comes and due to that the nile river you will find it comes over the roads in the sides in some areas and in some other areas of khartoum and sudan you will find that uh, there is a flood situation even in pakistan when the you can say water comes especially in the when it is a monsoon season when lot of rains so the flood situation comes and even the rivers the canals they are full capacity and water will overflow from there and it will destroy the agriculture lands villages all these things so that's known as flooding flooding when the discharge of a river exceed the capacity of the river's channel and cover adjacent adjacent mean the things which are near to the river or flood plain heavy rainfall is the cause of most floods so that is known as floods everybody clear what is the flooding yes okay now what causes the flooding as we told you that there are different reasons we'll see one by one and their impact for example number 1 the first physical cause is heavy rainfall and due to that reduce the infiltration capacity of the soil increase the increase in overland flow for example you know that if this is a soil and this is the soil and if the water comes over the soil let's say this is the water so it has the small you can say gaps the water go inside okay that process is known as infiltration when the water is absorbed by the soil ground and goes underground that's known as infiltration but it is, has a capacity for example this soil this area can take let's say only 20 liter water that can go down if 20000 liter water coming from this side only 20 will go down other will go flow and it caused the flood because water will not go down it will go and will flow wherever the water flow will take it so this is the reason that the heavy rainfall and it reduces the infiltration capacity of the soil and increase the overland flow the water on the land flow more and more and it will go to the down areas after that prolonged rain fall do you know the difference between heavy rainfall and prolonged rainfall anyone can tell me easy Yes anyone uh, prolonged is like continuing for a longer time really good and heavy it is a for some time but it's really heavily rain yes okay so this is the main difference between them sometime rain is not that much heavy but it prevail for a long time maybe prolonged for days then add it also caused the flood why because it saturates the soil because whatever the soil can take inside it took more than that it cannot take and after that causes the water table to rise even the underground water level will rise 
reducing the infiltration capacity means the water cannot infiltrate more, so it will flow over the land and cause the flood. After that, the snow melt, the areas in which you have the snow falling, and in the summer season, when the snow melts, also it causes the, you can say, on the river, the water comes a lot and it can cause the flood. Okay. They're saying land relief. What is land relief means that steeper gradients leads to the faster overland flow. Water has little time to infiltrate. For example, if you have a hill area like this, especially when you snow melt, but here the snow is melting. When the water is coming out, if the level of the surface is like this, water will remain here and it can infiltrate down. But if this is a slope, in the slope, water flow is very high. It will not give a time to water to infiltrate here. So more water will come down due to the slope and it can also cause the flood. Next is saturated soil. Me, if the soil is saturated, you know in chemistry that you cannot dissolve something more. Saturated soil means that when you have the soil and already it absorbs the water and now it is full, it cannot take more water. So it means that when, if the water will come here, if water will come here, it means that water will not go down because already this down ground is saturated. So the water will remain at the top and it will flow so it can cause the flood. This is another reason of the flooding. After that, you have the storm surges or tsunamis. Also, yes, the tsunami comes or the storm comes like cyclone and this one, especially near the coastal areas. Okay. There the water comes from the sea and cause the flood. All these are reasons they are physical. You can say naturally happens. Okay. Now we will see the causes of the flood, which due to human. Okay. Now we'll see the human cause. What are the humans? How the humans are causing the flooding? What's that? Deforestation means cutting the trees. When you are cutting the trees, also reduces the interception and infiltration. Remember the interception? Anybody tell me what is interception? We discuss in water cycle. If this is the tree and if the rain comes and it stay on this one. Some of the water stay on the trees. That's known as interception. They're saying that if you will cut the trees, it will reduce the interception, mean all the rain directly come on the ground. Nothing will stay on the trees because there are no trees. And secondly, if a tree has roots down, roots need water. So more water will be consumed. But if there are no trees, no more infiltration and it can cause the flood. And this caused due to what? Deforestation. And who did this one? Humans. After that, you have cultivation, mean growing the crops. Now, they're saying that plowing the plowing down the rather than the crop across slope increases the water flow. For example, if you will, for example, we know we saw in the in the boat they make in the you can say hill areas they make like this, then they make like this. Then I mean these are the fields here. Okay, they are making this one. If they are making like this it will stop the water flow. But if they will just make it like this down, 
not like this. So then it also water comes down and because the humans, they are uh, cultivating, they are preparing the field in such a way they are making more slopes. It is another cause. After that urbanization, urbanization means it comes from urban. You have two words, urban and rural. Urbanization means that you are making more cities. You are, for example, here, these are field, agriculture field. Here you grow the crops, but now you need a place to build the house. So you will build a house here, no more crops, no more trees. You cut everything and you build a house. There are, you will make the roads, you make the buildings where you have agriculture land. All these also causes the flood. Why? Because when they are using the concrete or tarmac, they are impermeable. Impermeable water cannot go inside. You can say less infiltration. Okay. So it also the climate change. Yes, humans are playing a very big role in climate change. You know that climate is changing. In some countries before you never heard they have a snow. Now they have a snow like Saudi Arabia. And some countries like in, in Canada in, in last uh, summer is really hot. That those people, they didn't have the ACs. They bought the ACs due to that hot. After they're saying 50 years, they saw that type of heat. So that is global warming. So people are using that uh, global warming and you, they are, can say contributing in the global warming and it is cause of a climate change. So these are the causes by the human for flooding. So we have studied two natural and human cause for flooding. And we saw also their causes, what the mean impacts also, how they can disturb the, how they can lead